I sleep with my eyes open. It helps me keep a lookout for predators. <laughs> okay, let's do this quest for Joshua. See if these people are worth saving. Brutus was not worth saving. Into the river with you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Goodbye, Brutus. <laughs> you keeping that armor in case you find a different companion? <laughs> yeah, I gotta save it for somebody else that's more important and oh. not dead. Fare thee well, Brutus. You're in Legion Heaven now, which is probably hell. Yeah. Stanley! Hello, Stanley. It's been a while. It has been a while. Hey, how's it going, Stanley? You want to guard Brutus's corpse while we go? Guide Brutus down the river Styx. Look, the fish are coming to feast upon <laughs> Brutus' corpse. <laughs> oh, these are piranhas. I'm going to get out of the water. No, they only eat stuff that's dead. Oh, that's right. They don't eat live flesh. I will just be taking this. No, I'm not taking this because people are going to think I have a foot fetish. <laughs> I wasn't going to say nothing. Hey, Zach, why do people who like foot fetishes always lose? I don't know why. Because they like the taste of defeat. Ah! <laughs> So what do you want to do first? Visit the new Canaanites or maybe... I think we, that's pretty much the only thing we can do. Why don't we visit the new Canaanites first just because we've already seen the Bloodstone. I'm not impressed by them. Too many dead people. Too mm. many corpses littering their campsite. I forgot about this horribly broken mess. I don't really think there's actually a way out of this cavern. Yeah, there's no ladder here. Well, I guess we're stuck here forever. I guess we're eating Brutus. Dibs on the white meat. Dibs on all the dark meat. We don't have Brutus with us. Yeah? He is the one who speaks the Blood Tribe's language. Oh. Oh. Can I even talk to any of them then? I did not understand any of that. Nope. I guess we're gonna have to learn their language somehow. How on earth am I gonna learn their language when none of them speak my language? The correct language. English. I don't know how to speak Bloodstone. We're going to have to learn. I am unwilling to learn. I'm an ignorant American, and I refuse to learn other languages. Well, I am an educated American, and I love learning languages. You'll have to be my translator, then. Okay, just give me a couple years, and I'll be able to learn the Bloodstone language. Okay. I think there's something wrong with this gun. <laughs> it jammed a little bit. Yeah. If it jams, what you got to do. you got to push forward on that, what do you call it? The jam enhancer? The jam enhancer? I don't think that's what it's called. <laughs> I've used that once in my entire military career, and I have never used it since that day. I can't believe you found a use for it. Well, my entire rifle was completely filled with sand and dust. I never had that experience. Because some genius decided we were going to do a firing range in the middle of a sandstorm. Hooray! I was cleaning my rifle one time, and uh -huh. I just couldn't figure out how to send the bolt home. And I told my... Fellow Marines sitting next to me, I said, I can't figure out how to send the bolt home. Look, I'm pushing the button, and it's not sending the bolt home. And he looked at me with this look of incredulity and said, that's because that's the magazine release button. Wow. So if I, I had known that about you, I would have said that we can't be friends anymore. <laughs> I am more comfortable around mechanical things than I am around people. Is that why you're shooting all the robots? Yes. This guy sees Hello, you coming. Hello, Mr. You wearing nothing but your underpants and some body paint. I don't think I speak his language. Oh, that's right. We don't have a translator for anybody. I come in peace. Hold yes. up your hands. Oh, wow. He gave me the key for gesticulating wildly. Oh. Huh. Does it make you feel big, walking around armed as you are? You'll have to ask the others if they need some gun-toting mercenaries' help. I don't. Or, of course, you could hand over any books or magazines you have. Someone with an intention of building something in the world could use them. Blue Man, shut up! My brain is greatest brain of all! Ah, simplicity at its finest. Look, do you want something from me? What know you of the burned man, young traveler? I'll admit, I hated him at first, from afar. Like a storybook villain. Making us seem extremist, cruel, limited. Everything we're not. But I fought in the Master's army. I know everyone can find redemption. Do I hate the burned man now? No. I pity him. I don't know where he is, but I hope he knows that he is welcome among us. Oh, excellent. He is our prodigal. 
Oh, they miss him. Aww. I was part of a group who fled far, far north. We traveled through the Baroness. I the Baroness? I bet the Baron wasn't happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, we found the Library of Cardston. The Library of Cardston. It was just like a normal public library. Everything was checked out already. Yeah. Some kids had already rifled through the National Geographic looking for pictures of boobs. <laughs> welcome. I know we don't seem very welcoming with the walls, but there's danger and not much fighting spirit here. You found the new Canaanites. Hello, New Canaanites! The Sun and Moon tribe has allowed us to share this plot of Earth with them in exchange for our helping defending them. And as long as you're here, you are under our protection as well. I'm Mordecai. You should probably know that the Legion is planning to sweep the valley soon. You should probably get out! <laughs> well, I appreciate your concern, but you don't know that. The Legion's only sent a few raids here. I haven't seen any sign of a large camp or a force. Don't worry about us. The sun and the moons have been kind enough to let us stay inside the wall. Well, yeah, they'll all die too, but I guess I won't say anything about that to you. What brings you to Zion? Word of a prophet, newcomer. <laughs> or if you don't believe in prophets, just call it uh, imperial expansion. Nathaniel had a dream saying we should build a temple here, and I was the first one to sign up. You see, Zion and I, we, uh, we, we have a history. What did it do to you? All of us here are volunteers, coming on our own steam. Nathaniel foolishly asked me to be the leader of the group and ordained me as bishop. Question, do you know anything about the burned man? Yeah, what do you know about him? You tell me, right now, or I'm a roundhouse kick you in the side of the head. And you won't be able to escape because you can only move diagonally. Yeah! Oh yeah, because he's a bishop. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Just joke. <laughs> Just jokes! Angels bring a man closer to God. They improve him. The monster's under the bed now. <laughs> they don't uh, They don't do anyone any good. Yeah, they drag him down to Satan. You'll forgive me, but if there is a burned man, he deserves what he got. You've heard the tales. Okay, well, I should leave then. Let's go see what else there is around here. What's in this building? There better not be people in here. Whoa! Those are not people! Oh, even better! It's lizards! Hi, lizards! Go away! This is where they were having the roundtable discussion on, No, it's arranged uh, in a pentagram. Must have been a satanic sacrifice. Satanic sacrifice! I will sacrifice myself! Who are you sacrificing yourself to? Chef Boyardee. <laughs> Why? For his delicious raviolis? Delicious raviolis! Chef Boyardee, I sacrifice my soul to you for delicious raviolis! I draw the pentagram with the barrel of this gun! Hang on, I ran out of bullets. <laughs> Give me a second, Chef Boyardee. Uh, <laughs> wow, this place seems actually pretty nice, considering what a... Shithole the rest of this place is. Wow, they have enough seating here for 25 people. Did you just do that math on the fly? Oh, there's five pews with five seats each, so yeah. Easy. I would have had to actually think about that. <laughs> okay, five times five is 25. Between when I could see all of them and when you said that, I hadn't even put together that there would be 25. We've already established that I'm better than you at math. It's no big deal. Hi! I mean, I'm... A... Howdy there, stranger! What brings you to these parts? We're the new Canaanites, if you haven't heard. And I'm Zoe Young. What's your story? Yeah, I'm just trying to get the hell home. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. Zion's been unkind to strangers for a while. I'm sorry you're stranded. But, you know, things aren't all that bad. I mean, you get to explore the canyon. You get to touch history, like no one else. It is a lovely place, isn't it? I would give my left arm to go out on adventures like you do. <laughs> I spend all this time learning languages, but Mordecai's too afraid. It just so happens that an opening in our party has- Yes, there has just <laughs> been an opening of someone that knows languages. So, would you like to explore with us? Yeah, you want to go explore the canyon? Why would you want to explore the canyon? Seriously? Do you not? Look at this place. It's unbelievable. Zion is alive like almost nowhere in the wasteland. And it's full of a lot of things that happened. More than you probably know. If you needed somebody on your team, I could help. I speak Bloodstone and Sun and Moon and some Locked Horns. I know a lot about what's happened here. You're Why coming with us! Yo, we're taking you away from this terrible place! Yeah, we're taking you away from this horrible place! I promise, this place is terrible! It's an awful place for you! You're coming with us! And that's just, that's the end of it. And if Mordecai doesn't like it, then I will shoot his kneecaps out. Wait. 
Really? Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh! Cool. Yeah. Nice save. Well, you lead the way. Anywhere we go is good for me. I can help you talk to the tribes if you need to as well. But hey, listen, I'm... I'm looking for something in Zion. If it's a white flower, you're out. <laughs> my uncle served his mission here a long time ago. But no one will tell me anything about it. It's like it never happened. I'd love to find anything related to him. I just want to know. Oh yeah, Grandpa, he's right over there. <laughs> but hey, in the meantime, let's go on a damn adventure. Hell yeah! <sighs> Did that sound forced? Yo, right. new companion! I love her already! Well, I will admit that I do like her better. I also like the fact that apparently she doesn't know how to curse. What? You swear? I had no idea. Ah, uh, yeah. I say all kinds of swears, like heckin' and oh gosh. You've claimed hope already. I will take this one. Uh, excuse you? <laughs> I like how I just refer to her as this one. <laughs> and Sheila's like, I, he's just such an asshole, you know? Sheila, you're going to find a really great guy someday who's probably, like, really close to you in terms of distance. I, like, believe in fate and all that. And I... <laughs> <laughs> you like that bread I baked you two weeks ago? <laughs> It's still good, right? <laughs> Sheila and Shelly. You have to really hate yourself if you name your twin daughters Sheila and Shelly. <laughs> we hope you come in peace, visitor. I am Wax with Spirits. My wife is the matriarch of this tribe, and I help where I can. Ah, it's a matriarchal society. Got it. Oh, it's a matriarchal society. Hmm. You ever think about, uh, all of us brothers banding together to take down the matriarchy? <laughs> Probably shouldn't be inciting riots within the tribes. Um, I wasn't aware there was a vault over there, but apparently I want to know if I can get into it. Speak with Bright Seer. She visits the Deep God occasionally. The Deep God? We should go into that vault and investigate what this God is that speaks to them. Also, tell me about your wife. Is she single? Obviously not! <laughs> After the Bullman captured 20 tribes in Zion, Bright Seer emerged from the rocks and staggered out like she could see a path through it all. She can always see a way to safety. If it weren't for her, Caesar or the Bloodstones would have long ago destroyed us. Hello, Courier. I wondered when you would come to our village. How do you know we're couriers? Yeah. How does everyone know we're couriers? How does everyone know I'm a courier? Also, how do you have any concept of what a courier is? You haven't even mastered clothing. <laughs> I have seen you in dreams, Courier. A spirit walked you out of death when it had claimed you. He was the victor, though your survival was also one. So yes, I know you. We are friends. But I know most everyone before they speak to me. Do not be afraid. I wasn't afraid. I need your help. Mine? I do not know if I can help much. I bear the title of chief with my lover. But my only weapons are gardening tools. You can do a lot of damage with a rake. You can also do a lot of damage with a ball peen hammer, but that's less of a gardening tool and more of a pest control. If you use a hammer for gardening or pest control, you are probably using the wrong tool. Grab whatever it is by the back of the neck, beat its head in with the peen part. You gotta grab it by the back of the neck though, because if it's like What a... animal are you bludgeoning to death? Raccoons. Why? Big squirrels. What did they do to you? Eat my carrots. <laughs> I don't know. I don't normally hit animals with hammers. Are you saying that story where you bludgeoned raccoons to death is a fake story? I would never hit a raccoon. It's my spirit animal. I wanted a new spirit animal. So I had <laughs> as everyone knows, <laughs> in order to get a new spirit animal, you have to kill a hundred of your old yeah. spirit animal. Killing your way up the food chain. Also, you super don't need to hit an opossum with a ball peen hammer. Because they're pretty much just harmless. Seriously, they hiss at you and stuff, but they're not going to do anything. I wasn't planning to beat an opossum to death with anything. Well, people think opossums are vicious, but they're not. They're some of the dumbest animals ever. If you go outside and there's an opossum out there and it's going <laughs> at you, just reach down and pick it up by the back of its neck and put it somewhere else. I literally have moved an opossum across my yard because I was trying to trim the grass. And I went, what are you doing? And it went... <laughs> And so I just grabbed it by the scruff of its neck because the moment you get close to it, it just goes back and pretends it's dead. <laughs> also, I don't think they carry rabies. Everybody thinks they do, but they actually, like, don't carry rabies because they're a marsupial. Look it up before. Don't go picking one up until you're sure, but look it up beforehand. The Earth is the greatest conversationalist. She only listens unless you ask her a question. So, how are you? When I was born, I was a Yao Guai cub. 
When I grew more, I became the river that flows out of the narrows. When I first loved, walks with spirits. Does that mean walks with spirits is a furry? I have tried to be a sparrow and a star, but I now try to be a curve of soft ground to plant seeds in. A gardener should be herself earth. Yes, I do see your soft curves. I think much will grow from me. Freaking hippie! <laughs> Walk with the wind. Hippies! <laughs> Where is this vault? I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna punch their god in the face. <laughs> ah! Requires a key! Come on, you filthy hippies! We believe in Earth and Mother and also locked doors! When you were a little kid and you were sick, were you ever given bread and saltines and like 7-Up? Of course, or, or yes! Ginger, or ginger ale or something? Yes, I was given those things, yep. I recently found out why. Old folk remedy! No, it just doesn't taste like crap when you throw up. Because if you just completely fill your stomach with saltine crackers and 7-Up when you throw up, it doesn't taste like shit! It yeah. just tastes like saltine crackers and 7-Up! <laughs> I didn't realize that's why, but it makes sense! <laughs> Temple looks pretty good, huh? I guess. Ezra's doing a nice job. All of the pre-war ones have been ransacked. Even Salt Lake. Uh-huh. Um... That's a real firm foundation you got there. <laughs> yep. You make that in Minecraft? Hey, no fair! There's a skeleton in the field of play! Eight ball corner pocket. <laughs> Come on. On this episode of Billiard Champs, Billiard pro Zank Moreland screws up another shot claiming there was a skeleton on the table. <laughs> mulligan! I get a mulligan. It's not out of bounds if it doesn't go off the table. Field goal! Seven points! Seven points for Gryffindor! <laughs> <laughs> he said putting the cue ball in the pocket corner. Hey, we should look around in here. Might find something interesting about my uncle. We already found all of his notes. I found this note in the mission home. Do you think my Uncle Daniel wrote this to Joshua? He was worried about him. I didn't know they were really friends. Why would my grandpa lie to me about that? I don't know. Anyway, thanks. I guess some people are just chronic liars. This one was from Amy Wilkes, I think. A, a senior missionary who died when the tribes got destroyed? Uh, no, she's still alive. This seems desperate. That's the legion she's talking about. Invading the mission home. Can you imagine what that must have been like? Legion in the camp killing as they came? What a horrible world. <laughs> now, you said you needed help getting lumber? Uh, the river's our main route for floating down timber and other materials, but a group of legionnaires took over an old campsite to the northeast. If you could scare them off somehow, well, we'd... We would appreciate it, and I know that that probably means killing them. Bring me their orders to show you did it. But they might be amenable to negotiations. You probably have as much reason as us to dislike the Legion. Bring their orders? Okay. Maybe orders is code, bring me their orders. Their orders with two eyes. Oh, those orders. I will gather these severed orders for you, sure. You're doing me a great service, and I, I, don't, I don't expect anything at all. We got this slope down here, this nice gentle slope that leads what, down there. What gentle slope? Cactus! Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Yeah, this nice gentle slope that slowly leads down to the campsite. Ah! And is also free of cacti. Ah! Let's go talk to the Legion. I think I broke my coccyx. Uh, Legion? Hello? I think somebody beat us to it. Ah! They're automatically hostile! Oh no, we can't negotiate! Oh no, it's Cretus! Cretus? He's from Crete! Oh no! Cretus is gonna kill me! Well, we've done it. We've cleared out the Legion Airy that was here. It was just the one. Don't put guys, give a hoot. Don't pollute. <laughs> You're ruining the beauty of unspoiled nature. I suppose nothing in nature can do anything unnatural. If it comes from the earth, then it's good for me. <laughs> But it all he said eating you. poison ivy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we cleared out this legion camp. We killed Cretus. It was a one-man operation. <laughs> it was, it was, he wasn't even actually a member of Caesar's Legion. He was just some guy that put on a legion outfit and hung out in the river, grabbing any wood that floated down. <laughs> I'm gonna stop this lumber operation. I wish I'd been born a beaver. <laughs> <laughs> His spirit animal was the beaver, and all he wanted to do was build a house. He was a clean, industrious people. <laughs> How do you 
always run around in the water. I get so annoyed when my socks get wet and you're like, I have an inhuman tolerance for discomfort. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you, you don't have to answer. That's fine. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, Zach, what's your key to looking so young? Oh, I murder a legionary every day. I bathe in their blood. Just call me uh, modern day Elizabeth Bartroy. You're gonna have to explain that one to me. Elizabeth Bartroy was known as the Bloody Queen. She killed a bunch of really young women and then would bathe in their blood because she thought it made her look younger. Look at that sexy young thing coated in the blood of her enemies, I see. Ah, oh, yeah. We have done all the things you wanted us to do. I have cleared out the mission home. Wonderful, I appreciate it. It's it's uh, still a little um, difficult to go looking around in there. Le let me give you some caps for that. Oh, don't worry. We've already stolen everything of value. Also, we took care of that Legion camp. <laughs> that one guy. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, newcomer. I, I, I didn't know how we were going to finish work at this rate. I hope this is enough. It's what we can spare. Who knew murder was so profitable? Who knew murder got you so much money? Turns out crime does pay. Find proof that Caesar's Legion is deserving of mercy. <laughs> <laughs> no, we ain't doing that. <laughs> no, Caesar's Legion can go suck it. I don't care. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did that Doppler joke get you? <laughs> I'll let you regain your composure. <laughs>